you know, this age, play is not just play, it really is work. And that's what it is to be a student at this age, is having purposeful play. So, you know, I not only work one-on-one -on -one with kids in doing, you know, discrete trial and all of that, but integrating academic learning into their play. So if I have a toy that I know a child loves, I'll see whatever I can do with that toy, whether it's working on colors or shapes or letters or numbers or counting or turn taking, anything with a toy. And play also, I think, is really important for them because it's how they learn to make sense of the world around them. And in particular with students with disabilities, the world can be a very confusing place. So helping them through modeling and pretend play, um, I can't underestimate the importance of that. That's a lot of how they're gonna internalize vocabulary and language. A lot of times that's where I see the language come out where I might not know if a child knows something, but when I play with them, I see that, oh, they actually do know what that is. So it's an important tool for assessment as well, that you get a lot of um, really good information when you play with a child. And that can give you the starting point. Before you get to doing the one-on-one -on -one work with them, if you're playing with them, you can get a sense of what they know and what they don't know.